Hey guys, welcome back. Abattoir of Zir is finally here, and it is the most difficult thing I've ever done. Abattoir of Zir is a new pinnacle-style dungeon content in Diablo 4 meant for only the best of the best. In this video guide, I want to answer four questions for you. How to unlock Abattoir, how you should prepare for your first run, what you get from completing Abattoir, and how does the gameplay of doing Abattoir feel like? Let's get right into it. Before you can do Abattoir of Zir, you'll first need to complete Chapter 7 of the Season Journey. Once you've done that, head over to the Occultist in Ked Bar do to unlock the recipe to craft the Bloodforged Sigil. In your Sigil's crafting tab, you'll have a new section called Bloodforged. Crafting a Blood Sigil is going to cost 800 Sigil Powder. When you use a Blood Sigil, it'll work the same way as a Nightmare Dungeon. Pop the Sigil, and then teleport inside the dungeon by selecting it on the map. To farm Sigil Powder, I recommend either multitasking by farming Varshan for Doriel runs, or by running high-tier Nightmare Dungeons and collecting as many Sigils as possible to salvage at the Occultist. Before you get started, I highly recommend and preparing yourself for doing Abattoir of Zir. Survivability is, in my opinion, the most important aspect of Abattoir, considering if you die in Abattoir, the game mode ends and you can't re-enter. Make sure all of your resistances are capped out at 70% each. To hit the armor cap, you'll need to get at least 8,910 armor and a maxed out aspect of disobedience in order to hit the armor cap of 13,500. This translates to 85% damage reduction total. To hit this, I recommend getting the gear affixes total armor on both your head and chest pieces. Try to stack as much damage reduction as you can on your chest piece and the amulet as well. In Abattoir of Zir, it's important to not just survive, you'll need a strong build for your class that has strong wave clearing. I recommend getting all of your legendary aspects at max rolls, which you can do by running Blood Harvest, and getting full 925 gear with best in slot gear affixes for your build before attempting Abattoir of Zir. Completing Abattoir of Zir will give you a new Paragon Glyph called Tears of Blood. The Tears of Blood Paragon Glyph will give you 2% increased damage for each core stat purchased within the range of influence, and also a 50% bonus to all rare nodes within range, which will increase by 10% every 10 levels. As you level up your tiers of blood, the range of influence will also increase, giving you even more damage. It appears the range will increase every 50 levels, with a maximum level of 200. My first run of Abattoir, I died almost immediately playing Twisting Blades Rogue. Even with capped armor and resistances, you'll still need to be careful around large groups of enemies or groups of elites. Suppressor elites, depending on your class and playstyle, are especially difficult to handle in Abattoir. The first challenge you'll most likely deal with in Abattoir is just surviving, but once you get used to the gameplay, your next challenge will be keeping up with the timer. In Abattoir, you'll have a bar indicator on the right. Your objective is to fill up this bar by defeating enemies, but you'll need to completely fill this bar before the timer runs out. This works exactly like Greater Rips if you've played Diablo 3. I would say within the first minute of entering Abattoir for the first time, you'll be able to tell whether or not your wave clearing is strong enough to beat it within the time limit. When you beat the timer and fill the bar to the max, you'll encounter three Bloodseekers with random elite affixes. Careful, these guys are really strong and hit like a truck. From what I've read on the Diablo 4 subreddit, the Bloodseekers can easily one-shot you depending on which random affixes they were given. If you can, keep a shrine nearby when you're about to max out the completion bar. Defeating the Bloodseekers will spawn an awakened Glyphstone, just like in Nightmare Dungeons. On Tier 1, I had a thousand Glyph experience to spend on leveling my new Tears of Blood Paragon Glyph. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. Good luck and have fun.